How's it going, everybody? Bob here, playing a horror game called The Moon Has Faded Away. Well, what does that mean exactly? <laughs> Is the moon actually just gone out of the sky? Well, alright. New game. I don't want to die. I don't think anybody wants to die. That's a fair assumption there. Where'd the moon go? What? What's that? What does that even mean? Cthulhu, August 24th, 2 p.m. I like the graphics and the aesthetic. The new apartment looks spacious, but not as much as the old house. My mother has told my little sister Elena and me that this will be the last time. It's not the first time we moved, and I highly doubt it will be the last. Fine. Her job constantly forces her to move from city to city. What does she do? The apartment is on the ninth floor, which allows us to have a view of almost the entire city. Maybe this place isn't so bad after all. Or if you're keeping a journal, I don't know about that. Something must be bothering you. <laughs> you're not liking moving around so much? Whoa. I can move, and I can look around with the mouse and open doors. I have to look for mom in her room. At the end of the hall. Alright. What is that sound effect, though? Oh. Cool. Alright. I like these graphics. Why do you have a geisha picture? What's going on outside? The moon gone? Huh. It's kind of pretty, actually. Alright, I guess I just gotta go see what mom's up to. Huh. This is actually very... Very different, I gotta say. Can I sprint? We got no sprint, no flashlight. This place seems very... Depressing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's kind of drab. I agree. Can't even turn that on. Can I open this? Bathroom? What about this? Open. Another bedroom. Sister? I guess? Okay, well this is mom's room, right? Mom? You here? Mom isn't in her room. Maybe Elena knows where she went. What are those sounds? It's not wind, that's for sure. It sounds like something roaring. Not cars. Hey, Elena. I need to ask you something. Yeah, come on, tell me. Where'd Mom go? What do you need, Alex? Just, just tell me where Mom went, please. Mom isn't in her room. You know where she went? Yeah, come on. Mom said she would go shopping. Get more acquainted with the city. Oh. It's okay. Thank you. Do I have to go outside now too? What are you drawing? Tree, grass. <laughs> That's kind of cute. Alright, I guess you're just doing some art. Very cool. That's the cutest fucking thing I've ever seen. What is the city though? Seems very concrete. Somewhere in Russia maybe? Liberia? Maybe Canada. Oh, I can run. I can run, but when you do, it'll waste stamina. Fuck. I can hear someone in the kitchen. Maybe mom's here. In the kitchen? Oh. Here she is. With the move. Probably needs some help. Alright. Excuse me. Mom! You need some help? Can you go put on some music on the radio? The environment is very quiet. And go and collect your item box. The backpack. And place them in your room. Okay. I'll do that right now. Easy. No problem. Okay. Sure. No problem, Mom. It is kind of quiet. Like, all you can hear is that. What is that noise? I want to know. Okay, radio. I would like some music. Some classical music isn't bad. It's time to pack up my things. I'm gonna leave all the doors open. Fuck it. Where's my stuff? This? My stuff. That's not classical music. It sounds like big band. Old timey. Rocking out, dude. Sometimes you just gotta listen to some big band music. Oh, what? Where do you want me to put this? Place the box, please. My backpack is on the couch. I'm gonna put it next to my bed. Alright. Where? Oh. Couch? Nice backpack. Thank you. 
<laughs> I like the way everything moves when you pick it up. That stamina bar, though. Why? Why am I so slow, bud? Lunch is ready. Come eat. All right, Mama. Thanks. Delicious. Nutritious. Listen, guys. I think it's time to talk about moving. Not again. My work has forced us to move from si from the city. Again! Yeah. The city is quite beautiful. It has many buildings and things to offer us. True. It might even be easier for you to find a job, Alex. Is it that big of a city? Alright, true. I don't know if I'm ready to enter the world of work. Fair enough, kid. Don't do it. Even so... I will be able to provide more income to the household. Even Elena can go to private school. Mom, um, I want to stay in another city. I miss my grandparents so much. Don't worry, Elena. We'll go visit them from time to time. True. The poor grandparents. I know that the change was very drastic. That doesn't mean that we'll not visit them again. We have to finish lunch. We have settled properly in this apartment yet. All right, I got to settle in still. Also, we haven't met our new neighbors. So, we'll talk about that later. Lunch was delicious! Before I go back to my room, I'm gonna turn off the radio. Alright. It seems very heavy in the storytelling so far. It's pretty cool. Okay, now I have to go to my room and tidy things up. Why? Everything seems nice in here. Oh, never mind. Time to order my room! You mean, put in order. I don't know. He had like paintings on his bed and shit. Alright. After we finish tidying up all our stuff and settle into our respective rooms. Mom cooked us delicious dinner. We talked more clearly about future plans again. But what? You repeated to us again that this world would be a new home from now on. Okay. And finally, we agreed that tomorrow we would introduce ourselves to the neighbors. What the hell? The moon has faded away. What was that intro? What was that about? That was weird. Huh. Okay, so now things are going to get drastically spooky, I'm assuming. We're going to get Eldridge Horrors. August 25th, 2.50 p.m. Still listening to classical music, I see. Today is the day we agree to visit our new neighbors. Are they going to be like monsters? We're done with the move. It's one less weight off us. These last few days have been a total hell. Elena's watching TV. Mom should be waiting for us outside the apartment. All right, let's go. I must go and tell Elena that we're going to meet our neighbors. All right, let's go meet them. I'm going to leave this diary on the desk. I'm going to write up what will be today. We haven't had any talks with the neighbors. They're not even going to be people. They're going to be like monsters or something. Also, I've noticed that the traffic is much less and when we got here. Ah, oh, shit. Huh? Here we go again. First, I'll talk with Elena, then turn off the TV and the radio. Hey, sister, we're going. We're gonna leave. We gotta go talk to the neighbors. Elena, we gotta meet the neighbors. Mom is waiting for us outside. We're gonna turn off the TV. So go with Mom. What the fuck is even on the TV? What is that? What the hell? <laughs> Elena left the apartment. I have to turn off the TV and the radio and leave. Get out of here, you. Off. How do I turn it off? Hello? Off. I turn off the music. Too noisy in here, dude. Get rid of the sounds. There we go. Bingo! Now I just have to get out of here. Okay, let's go. Waiting for something real bad to happen. What's gonna happen? What kind of horrors are awaiting? No, really? That is uh, we got the fucking Resident Evil door again. My favorite. August 25th. 3 p.m. now. It's only been half an hour. They're already in the corridor. Meeting new people makes us quite nervous. Why? Don't be so nervous. Maybe our neighbors are like Mia and Peter. What the hell are they? They might even have a pet like curly old pup. Oh yeah, dude, true. Maybe they got some cats or some doggos. Hopefully it'll be like that. So here we go. Are they just gonna be like monsters? We're gonna knock on the door. Hello, neighbors? Are you uh, serial killers? 
Are you insane? You normal people? What is happening? No answer. Maybe they're not home. Knock again? Let's see in the next room. What, are you just gonna knock on all your neighbor's doors? I don't like that. That's kind of sketchy. What, just nobody's at home? Where'd everyone go? Mom and Ellen are talking to a neighbor. I'll go to our next door neighbor. Okay. But this one? Hello? Anybody home? <laughs> Talk to me. This is rather suspicious. A lot of production value in this game, I gotta say. It's very... Hello? <laughs> it's very cinematic. But this guy's weird and blind. Fucking brat! The fuck do you want? Um, I'm just gonna say hello. If you're here to mess around, get your fucking ass out of my sight. What the hell just happened? Why is that guy such a dick? <laughs> Best not to bother him, Alex. That's what Mrs. Susan told me. What, crazy old man with a blind eye? Mr. Bosch is a mentally unstable war veteran, and his wife recently died. Now I understand that attitude. Suppose it's better that we return to the apartment. I feel bad for him. A war veteran who lost his wife? Poor guy. Damn, must have been through some brutal shit. What the fuck was that? Hello? What's up? What are you guys doing? <laughs> I love that face. Mom, you're beautiful. What? What are, you, what are you guys looking at? What's going on? Oh, you want me to enter the apartment? Okay. Hello? Somebody walking behind us? No? We're just going home. Okay. What the hell? We're about to enter the apartment. The neighbors appeared. A whole family? Oh, okay. That family is too strange. They don't look that. They look pretty normal to me. They weren't very talkative, and the atmosphere had become very tense and awkward. Why? They had two little daughters who seemed to be following in the same footsteps as their parents. What does that mean? After a silence that seemed to last forever, we said goodbye to them and went to the apartment. What? Maybe you should move. This seems a little bit weird. This whole place is weird. Got wacky neighbors. Poor old man. Now it's 11 p.m. at night. What the fuck is going on? After what happened in the hall, the day went too normally. Alright. We had dinner. Went to bed. However, I can't sleep. Uh-oh. The weather was much colder than normal. So the windows are closed. Let's open it a crack. It's fine. Quite late. I must sleep. Nah, it's alright, dude. You don't need to sleep. What, is something out there? Hello? What the hell is that noise? Oh, the doors are opening. M Mom? What are you doing? What's going on? Why should... What? What is this? What are you doing, Mom? Why are you being so weird? Huh? What's with this weird cinematic camera here what the f is this supposed to be something rather strange just happened that's supposed to be really spooky that the mom just closed the window i was trying to sleep my mother suddenly came into the room oh didn't even bother to knock just pulled up the blinds and made sure the windows were shut tight okay she was looking at the darkness of the night for a while and just as she entered left the room huh a few hours later. So, did the moon disappear and your mom noticed? Okay, well now it's August 26th. 10 a.m. So I'm waking up kind of late there, guy. Dawn. Through this, couldn't sleep well at all. Well, you slept in. It's a little bit later. What happened yesterday was quite strange. Still can't get it out of my head. Fair enough, dude. Go to the kitchen and make myself breakfast. I'm pretty hungry. This seems kind of like oppressive. Like I'm in a communist country or something. This is so weird. I don't... Are, are monsters gonna appear? Like what is going on? Why is everything gray now? 
Seems like color. The color's kind of evaporating. Why is everything so gray? What happened? Damn! Mom is watching TV. She's watching one of those dramatic shows. You hear the music? Looks terrible. Dark circles and slightly red eyes betray that she did not sleep at all. She's watching the news, whose journalist looks the same, or even worse than my own mother. The journalist speaks with considerable concern about something I can't hear well. Oh, it's news music. Um, what's going on? What happened? Why can't you sleep? Why do you look so fucked up? What happened? Are you gonna tell me that the moon's gone and everybody's turning into beasts? Mom completely ignored me, turned off the TV, and went to the kitchen. Are people going insane from the moon disappearing? What is... Aww? First time I've seen Mom behave so strangely. Well, have you not noticed that everything's kind of looking a little color washed out? Try to ask her again what's going on. It's... everything's black and white all of a sudden. I don't... what the fuck is this? Mom? Huh? Why are you being so fucking weird? What's going on here? Huh? Mom holds a breakfast tray. Her tiredness and worry are too obvious. Hi, Alex. Breakfast is ready. Okay. Well, this is getting a little bit dark. Why is she being weird? Mom forces her attitude too much. Elena has gotten up. And she seems to notice. Well, yeah. Mom, what's going on? Why didn't you sleep and why are you acting so fucking weird, huh? What happened? Tell me now! Tell me! What's going on? <laughs> the fuck, lady? You can tell me? August 26th. Now it's 9 p.m. Okay? What the fuck is this? A few hours ago, Mom left the apartment suddenly. Okay? I don't know. She looks more nervous and worried than she did in the morning. Dude, this guy's looking a little bit fucked up, too. His eyes are all weird. She said she was going to do some shopping and would be right back, but she didn't. The situation, whatever it is, is also affecting me. I can see, are you not sleeping too? I'm trying to be calm, because I don't want to scare my little sister. Good man. I have to make her dinner and tell her to sleep. Okay, now this is getting a little bit, a little bit on the dark side. The mom's just gone, so now I gotta make dinner? I don't like that at all. Okay. What can I make for dinner? Huh? Anything in here? What? What was that? Put on stove. Let's cook. It's time to cook. It's time to cook. Mmm. So good and tasty. Well, time for dinner. I must tell Elena. Is she gonna be a monster now or something? Let's see. Hey sister, I made you some food. Delicious. I'm a good brother. After dinner with Elena, I take her to her room. This is getting a little depressing feeling. Elena asked about mom. I didn't know what to answer. Uh, she's at work. <laughs> um, Jesus Christ, Elena. I have no fucking idea. Just go to sleep. Whoa. Why are you getting all pissy? <laughs> What? Why is everyone getting pissy? What is happening? Shit. I didn't mean to yell at her like that. Yeah, what is going on? Why is everyone getting all fucking weird and angsty? Huh? What? Uh-oh. Alright, now it's three... Oh, the witching hour. Uh-oh. I've been hearing screaming somewhere in the building. Oh, fuck me. Let's go. We gotta go find it. These are heartbreaking and fearful screams. Unbearable screams. I'm going to turn on the TV and drown out the terrifying sounds. Oh, fuck me, dude. Um. I never asked for this. Maybe they. Oh, shit, maybe there are monsters now. Or zombies? What is happening? News, tell me. Good evening, everyone. My name is Clara Simons. Okay, what happened? Tell me. Welcome to the SRJ News Channel, your trusted news channel. Well, I'm pretty good at being a news anchor. This issue is the most utmost importance. The moon has been missing for two days. Scientists and astronomers, astronomers, 
For every part of the world continue to display the strangeness. Governments dictated the use of the best telescopes and equipment towards this enormous celestial thing. Trying to find the moon, or the clue of what might have happened to it. Each attempt has failed, and this has caused mass hysteria. So the moon has just literally disappeared. This can bring too many consequences to our daily lives. Wouldn't the ocean tide stop? Please make sure all doors and windows are closed. Okay. Bundle up, because the next few hours there will be a drastic drop in temperatures. It is also advisable to turn off any sources of light that can attract attention from the streets. I repeat, turn off the lights, close the doors and windows, and bundle up. What the fuck was that? Oh, hell no! What? What am I supposed to do? Lock the door? <laughs> Shit, it's not mom. A stranger's trying to get in. I need to block the door. Block it with what? The couch can be useful. I can move it. Alright, I'll push the couch in front of the door. Sure. I managed to prevent the intruder from entering the apartment. But what about your mom? Now she's locked out. I have to protect Elena by all means until mom arrives. I have to see her. She must be too scared. Uh oh. Uh oh. Your sister's gonna be a monster now. I think I saw something. Fall off the balcony? My god, did your sister jump off the balcony? Why is the view getting so fucked? Hello? What is happening? <laughs> this is getting insane! Please. Please let it be some kind of object or thing. Who is that? Oh my. That... Who was that? Huh? Whoa, that was pretty fucking cool, but who what? Did he jump off his own balcony? What? That was really cool. What the hell was that ending though? No way, dude. Thank you for making this game. Very cool. Very interesting. You guys got an artistic flair, that's for sure. Very cinematic. This is probably one of the most cinematic games I've played in a long while. Nicholas, you killed it. I like that very much. I always leave the games in the description. Um, yeah, give this one a play. Go shoot them some love. If this is just a demo, I want to see the full thing. You can, like, why, why is the moon gone? Why is everything going crazy? Why are people going, <laughs> killing each other and jumping off roofs and shit? Jeez, intense. Yeah, I enjoyed that very much. Very cool, my guys. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment and subscribe for more. Hey, I read and reply to every single comment. So, ask what's up. Request a game. Say hey. It really helps out with the forbidden YouTube algorithm. And of course, thanks for watching. As always, Obi-Wan here. And peace out. Move the master of the dark. White tea legend leaves his mama in the realm of horror. She prevails. No fear, not the story of hell. Yeah. Hateful bastard is in control. Demons tremble as he takes his toll. So if it don't scare, he stands tall. Both the villains conquer of them all yeah. Move forward.